All right, I have a bit of a wild Gotham Knights fan theory, so bear with me while I break it down. But recently at an interview, Patrick Redding, the creative director of Gotham Knights, was asked about Damian Wayne and whether or not that character has any involvement in the game Gotham Knights. Now, for anyone who doesn't know, Damian Wayne is the son of Bruce Wayne and Talia al Ghul, who is the daughter of Ra's al Ghul who is the leader of the League of Assassins. And so Damian Wayne is Bruce Wayne's son who grows up for a bit without Batman knowing he exists. He's raised by ninjas, so he is a very competent crime fighter even at a very young age. And so when Patrick Redding was asked if this character Damian would appear in Gotham Knights, he said that he couldn't answer because it would provide a huge spoiler for the game's story. Now I think that that provides a lot of inferences that could be made about Gotham Knights just from that, for example, is this a story where Damien has been captured by the Court of Owls and Batman isn't actually dead but has gone undercover to try and save his son? Is Batman truly dead and will this turn into a Last of Us style game where you as the Knights kind of adopt Damien and take him under your wing as you try to protect him from the Court of Owls? I don't know and there isn't really enough context to create a theory out of that but it does provide a bit of insight into where the plot of this game could go, because if Damien does play a huge role in the story, maybe he's an antagonist, or maybe he's someone that you have to protect and sort of mentor in the way that Bruce Wayne mentored the four playable Gotham Knights. Maybe you have to become the Batman in a Batman and Robin dynamic where Damien is your Robin. But again, there isn't really enough context to jump too deep into a theory like that, but where I do think we could start theorizing is what the sequel to Gotham Knights could look like. Now, again, bear with me. Before Gotham Knights was in development, and after Warner Brothers Games Montreal had finished Arkham Origins, again, there is a big gap there. Arkham Origins was released in 2013, Gotham Knights is releasing in 2022. They were not working on Gotham Knights that entire time. They were actually originally working on a sequel to Arkham Knight. It would have taken place 10 years after Arkham Knight, where the city was completely dilapidated, and you were going to play as none other than Damian Wayne. And there's a lot of DNA that has shifted into Gotham Knights. For example, you were going to ride the Bat Cycle, the Court of Owls were going to be in the game and those are things again that we are seeing in Gotham Knights but originally this was going to be a game that featured only one playable character and that was Damian Wayne and you were going to be on your bat cycle fighting the Court of Owls and again a lot of that has shifted to Gotham Knights but Damian Wayne is one key factor that we haven't seen how he's been taken over to Gotham Knights. Another big change with Gotham Knights is that it doesn't appear to be in a dilapidated version of Gotham and it also doesn't take place within the Arkham continuity. So those are some of the major changes that have been made and one might assume that Gotham Knights is just the product of a scrapped Damian Wayne Arkham sequel that was turned into something else and quietly rebooted. And I think in many ways that could be true, but again, hear me out. What if the Damian Wayne game wasn't fully cancelled? What if it was just majorly overhauled and it is the game that Gotham Knights is building up to? What if Gotham Knights was developed to lay the groundwork for the Damian Wayne game that Warner Brothers Games Montreal has wanted to tell since they started developing it in 2014 or whenever they started? They provide a lot of similar plot points to the end of Arkham Knight, but many of them feel more final. For example, Bruce Wayne's death does feel like something that could potentially stick in this game. Now I still have my doubts, I think he's gonna show up at some point during the story, but he could be dead dead, or at the very least his role could have been drastically altered from his role that would have come in if this were a sequel to the Arkham games. And maybe this Gotham Knights version of Bruce Wayne will react differently to this Nightfall Protocol-esque beginning than the Arkham Batman would have reacted to a Nightfall Protocol beginning of a Damian Wayne game. Now Gotham Knights lays a lot of interesting plot points out and they feel very reminiscent of both the ending of Arkham Knight and build up toward a lot of what was alleged to be in the Damian Wayne game. And so part of me can't help but wonder, is this game setting up the Court of Owls? Is it setting up the destruction and dilapidation of Gotham City? Is it going to build up Damian Wayne? And then is the sequel going to be a Batman Beyond-esque game where you take on the role as Batman, where you're playing as Damian Wayne? The other Gotham Knights might still be playable characters in it, or maybe not. I do think that this is an interesting direction that the story could go, 
And one thing that we do know about game development is it's very expensive, and we also know that Warner Brothers Games Montreal has gone a very long time without releasing a game, and we also could argue that Gotham Knights in of itself is quite a risky move. And it would make sense if the sequel that they were pitching for Gotham Knights was a bit of a safer Batman name brand game, even if the Batman that you're playing as is Damian Wayne rather than Bruce. Now, how likely is this? I don't know. I don't think that there's any way to really get a good confirmation on this or even a really good idea that this is what they're going to do, but it feels like a logical next step. And when you start thinking about it, Gotham Knights really does start laying the groundwork for what was allegedly going to be in that Damian Wayne Batman game. Again, I think the only real change here is that it would no longer be set in the Arkham continuity as it originally was planned to be. Maybe some of those leaked villains like Poison Ivy and Gorilla Grodd and the White Rabbit will make an appearance, and maybe a lot of the development for the Damian Wayne game has just shifted to being a sequel to Gotham Knights rather than being a sequel to Arkham Knight. Maybe because of technological issues or because of the fan reception to a possible game starring Damian Wayne, maybe they decided that they wanted to build up the story a little bit more and have a bit more of a stepping stone into a Batman gaming universe where you're playing as Damian instead of Bruce, and maybe they wanted to really iron out some of those technical issues and get it running on next generation consoles where they could fully embrace the next gen hardware and make the game play at the scale that they want it to. Again, I'm not sure if this is the direction that they're going, but I think it would be really interesting if it was, and I think that it would be a cool way to salvage the game that was allegedly cancelled, and maybe the Damian Wayne game is still alive and well in the back end of Warner Brothers Games Montreal. So let me know what you guys think of this theory in the comments below. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and we will see you guys in the next one.